Dusting a little more than a dusting <laughs> yeah. overnight. Uh, yeah, it wasn't much. Got <laughs> kind of the high end of the scale. I'm just blazing on here. <laughs> Why do we do this? Why do we try to have these conversations during stories? Um, I, I will tell you this. Last night at like 9 p.m., I was texting one of my meteorologist friends, and I was like, "Oop, this doesn't look like much." Like uh, the radar just kind of. You knew at that point. Yeah. yeah. You know, if yeah. it makes either of you feel better, I did have to like brush the snow off of. Just, the I don't think Brian cares. <laughs> <No>. um, <coughs> of course. I don't I think care. it was like a plowable thing in most <laughs> spots, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, you had to remove some version of snow. That that is true, but it could have been like a leaf blower, depending on your location. We ended up with an inch in a lot of spots, an inch and a half, and a couple others. Highest I saw was three and a half, and a couple of the mountains came in with three too. A couple of snow showers, those are gone. Nice late afternoon, and I was um, waxing poetically about how it's nice that you can actually say, okay, it's 4:15, and there's some sun, and that matters. There's sun for another hour or so in a lot of spots, which feels pretty good. Current temperatures about freezing, a little bit below into the mountains. And tonight will be cold, to be clear, into the teens and some single digits, especially across northern Maine and the mountains. Tomorrow, a storm misses to our south. It's pretty close, not close enough we have to worry about it, but it will give us a couple of snow showers. And I think especially in the afternoon over New Hampshire and western Maine, I could see the White, White Mountains getting an inch or two of snow out of this. And then uh, just kind of over the border could see some of that as well. So. We'll keep an eye on a couple of snow showers. Otherwise, it's about freezing with a good deal of cloud cover in the afternoon. Cold tomorrow night, a few spots below zero, about 10 to 12 along the immediate coastline. And then there's more sun around on Sunday, but temperatures are in the upper 20s. It doesn't get much warmer than that. Another round of snow showers Sunday night. That's kind of where we're going to be living at for the next couple of days is there will be flakes flying around. It doesn't really add up to all that much unless you're in New Hampshire or in the, kind of our northwest facing mountains there. So the storm that misses us on Saturday, again, it's actually a beefy little storm, but uh, it's far enough to our south we don't have to worry about it. Snow showers coming again Sunday night, no real accumulation anticipated there. And then we just settle into a nice pattern Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So as it stands, with today only being a half inch of snow, we're still in the top five least snowy Februarys, and Bangor is actually still at number one. Could we change that? Could we suddenly get snow at the end? I, we continue to look at Friday. And again, I'm not loading up on this. I'm just saying if we're going to get snow before March, this is it. This is our chance is next Friday. And the latest European model. Ooh, it's so sweet, so perfect, but it's so far away. It's kind of a it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, it's going to stay like that. If, if it did, it'd be a great storm for Friday, but it's also seven days away, guys. You know how that goes. There's still something out there. We'll just find out what it is watching generic is what we put with a rain or snow shower in there. Until then, I actually really like midweek. I think we're about 40, potentially 45 on Thursday, depending on how things evolve. And then we'll see what happens on Friday, because without that storm, we will have a top five least snowy, top two least snowy in both uh, Bangor and Portland. Yeah, not surprising there. Yeah, well, I mean, like anecdotally, you just look around. There's yeah. just not much There's there. Not there. But that'll be one of those, if we catch that storm, and say it's a big storm, just, I'm just, then the stats would be so thrown off. Oh, You'd look at it and be like, oh, it was a normal February. Right. Like, no, 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 it all happened at the very end okay, with one storm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll track that one. Keith, thank you.